Hi, um, today I want to talk about how to find the maximum and minimum of a function with two variables. So, for example, we have a question like this, uh, a two-variable function, and then we are trying to find the minimum and maximum. We, uh, as usual, um, we, are, we first find the critical points, where it's just the derivative of, of the function with respect to the variables in this function. So we have d, df dx, and then we also have a df dy. So that this is the two um, uh, partial derivatives. And then we set them equal to zero. And then we are able to find the critical points. So in our example, since one of the, is a, one of the a partial derivative is a quadratic function, so we have two critical co co points um, um, for this function here. And then uh, here we also, uh, so this is our first step by taking the partial, the first order derivative. And we also have to calculate the Haitian matrix, which is uh, the second derivative. So a Haitian matrix is something like this. So uh, since we this we are two variables, so this is a two by two uh, matrix, and uh, for each uh, elements here, it's just a uh, uh, second order. So it's uh, df. So taking the derivative with respect of x twice. So it's d of x and um, dxx, and then and then uh, dy and uh, f of y and y. So this is this these two are just uh, taking the derivative of x twice for and then taking the derivative of y um, twice. So that gives us the second order derivative. And then in, in, in the in, in this diagonal we are going to take the derivative of x and then take the derivative of y. And for this uh, elements here is just a derivative of uh, respect to y and then we take the derivative of x again. So no matter the order so uh, the the, this diagonal should always be the same. So as you can see that if we take this uh, with respect to y, uh, so this is just negative 6. And then if we take the derivative with, for this with respect to x, and then we also get the negative 6. So they should always be identical. And then for this df dx, and then we take uh, another a derivative of x, it just, it just give us 2. And then for here, it just gives us 6y. So this is the Haitian matrix, so which is the second order derivative of, the, of this function here. So now we have the critical points and the Haitian matrix. So now we, are, we need to take the uh, uh, determinant of the Haitian matrix. So basically, just this um, 2 multiplied by 6y minus um, Neg uh, negative 6 multiplied by negative 6. So we have 12y minus 36. And then we plug the critical point into this determinant of the Haitian matrix. And then so we can get that at uh, 0, 0, one of the critical points, we have the determinant of the Haitian matrix equal to negative 30, 36. And in the second critical points, we have the determinant of the Haitian matrix equal to 36. So now we can apply um, some rules to uh, uh, to determine it with whether uh, each uh, whether the critical points is either a maximum, minimum, or a settle point, or uh, either there's no conclusion. So at uh, zero zero, since the determinant of the Haitian matrix is less than zero, since it's negative thirty six, and we have the 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 second order derivative with respect to x is equal to 2, which is greater than 0. So we have that uh, the critical points, the, um, we have uh, the 0, 0 of this original function as a settle point um, based on this original function. And for the second critical points, we have the determinant greater than 0. And the partial and the second order derivative is also greater than zero, so that we can conclude that this uh, eighteen six is uh, is actually a minimum of this original function. And also, so uh, just to uh, generalize, I also put down the rules here. So when the determinant is greater than zero, in, so this is uh, similar to this second case. If the partial der the second order derivative is less than zero, then we have a maximum here. If the second order derivative is greater than zero, then we have a minimum here. So, um, and also we if we if the determinant of the Haitian matrix is less than zero, then we are uh, then we can directly conclude that we have uh, settle points here at the at the critical points. And 
if we have a determinant of the Haitian matrix equal to zero, then there's no conclusion we can make so far. So this is the rule, you need to memorize it. And then here, it just to calculate the first order partial derivative, the second order partial derivative, uh, which is the Haitian matrix, and then we calculate the determinant. And then we can apply this, um, this criteria here to decide whether the critical points is a maximum, minimum, or set of points, or either there's no conclusion we can make. So this is how you can uh, how you find the minimum and maximum of a variables with two uh, uh, with uh, for a function with two variables here. And also we are going to talk about how to maxim how to um, this is an optimization problem. So we want to maximize this function with a constraint. So it's subject to a, a circle here. So uh, we have a f of x is equal to just a x multiplied by y. And we have a constraint, constraint here, which is uh, just a g of x is just x squared plus y squared. So now we are going to use the Lagrange mu multiplier. So basically, it just uh, the gradient of x uh, of f is a scalar multiplied by the gradient of g. Uh, so to visualize this problem here, just that, um, for example, we have a, 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 con a contour plot, f of x, and then uh, we also have a contour of g of x. So the gradient of uh, f of x is just a normal normal uh, vector uh, to the tangent point, to, to the tangent, uh, in this situation is tangent line, tangent uh, to the line that is uh, a line that is tangent to f of x, and the gradient of g it just uh, is a vector that is normal to the tangent to, to a line that is tangent to g of x, and uh, since um, since uh, for a uh, for a critical points or for uh, for for critical points uh, we have um, uh, we have they they should uh, since uh, these two lines are touching, which means that uh, it is the maximum of this line subject uh, subject to to this constraint, so that we have the two uh, gradient that is uh, that is uh, actually um, a, a scalar um, 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 that is uh, proportional to the to uh, between each other. So we can write that uh, the gradient of f is a scalar multiplied the gradient of um, g. Since uh, they are both um, since both uh, vectors are normal to the tangent to the tangent line that is uh, to the same point since they should be touching with each other since uh, we have this constraint here, so that's so that's that's how f f equal to uh, a multiplier uh, a scalar multiplied by a gradient of g. So by using by by having this uh, a you can think of it as a third condition. And then we have an, a third uh, relation between uh, f uh, between uh, x and y. So here, by taking the gradient of f, basically uh, with respect to f, uh, with respect to x, and with respect to y, so that we have a gradient of f is just uh, x, uh, x, uh, and x. So this is the gradient of f, and then we also have taking the partial derivative of g and then we also have the gradient of uh, g and then we by uh, and then we uh, uh, put put um, these two gradient into this uh, relationship we will have uh, um, um, we will have this uh, relationship here so basically it's just y equal to uh, uh, lambda equal uh, multiplied by 2x so y equal to lambda multiplied by 2x, and then x equal to lambda multiplied by 2y. And by setting lambda equal to lambda, we have y over 2x equal to x over 2y. And then we have uh, x squared equal to y squared by um, cross uh, multiplication. And we also have um, have this constraint here, so x squared by, uh, <clears throat> plus uh, y squared equal to 1. Since they are equal, we can just um, Put um, uh, plug the result into this constraint here. So two x squared is equal to one, and then x is uh, plus minus one over uh, square root of two, and then y is also plus or minus one over two uh, one over square root of two. So we have the critical points here. So um, at um, so we have uh, four points here. 
So we went uh, at the point uh, at, the, uh, at these two points here, we have a maximum value of 1 over 2. At these two points here, we have a minimum value of, um, of uh, negative 1 over 2. So uh, for this problem here, we have four points here where we have a minimum and maximum. So um, basically, so this is the concept where uh, we trying to find uh, critical points where uh, we have we we have um, the constraint with uh, subject to the constraint for this f of x. That means we have the gradient. Um, the gradient of um, one function is proportional to the gradient of the second function. That is um, how we can use uh, a Lagrange multiplier to establish a third um, um, a relationship between x and y. And then we use this additional um, relationship to find our critical points. So, uh, so this is the two examples where uh, for where we can use um, trying to find the critical points, which is minimum and maximum of the function, and we also use the Lagrange multiplier to to find to optimize a function here. So um, thank you very much, and let me know if you have any question.